when you look at the mobility navigation options available in Pakistan, uh, we really believe that it's broken. Uh, mobility and navigation in Pakistan is broken. If you were providing directions to someone, uh, generally we talk about reference points. So, Teen Talwar se Sida Chale Jai, ya, you know, Dolman Mall se Sida Jai. Uh, that's often because the roads are not labeled or named, and we don't know the names of the roads. From a mobility perspective, you know, I think a lot of the mobility options in Pakistan are not available digitally accessible to everyone. Uh, so let's look at, for example, the the transportation, the public transportation sector. Right, it's made up of private contractors as well as government-run uh, buses, etc. And no one has digitized that. If you want to know what time or what route the bus is, it's impossible for you to know unless you ask someone who uses those routes. Right. So this business uh, sort of incubated and came out of TPL Tracker when I was the CEO of the business and even before then, uh, earlier on in the early 2000s, back then when there was no Google Maps, we needed to provide addresses uh, to our clients as location for their, where their vehicle was, right? So we, we are, went out and started capturing location data. We got a license from the regulator and started capturing this data. So over a period of time, we developed a very large data set which we looked at, okay, this is the data set which we can look to monetize and it will also help us solve some of those challenges and then it's, you know, it gave birth to TPL Maps. One of the main people we compete with is Google Maps. So, I mean, when you hear the name Google, obviously, we started off, people will, like you mentioned, it's, they were, there was a lot of pessimism, but I think we're slowly converting a lot of people. So we look at our product suite or how we how we're operating in, in two ways. One is from a B2B perspective and then a B2C perspective. So if you look at it from a B2C perspective, we are currently in beta testing of our app, which we expect to roll out in a couple of months, inshallah. Um, so that will be available just like a, a mapping navigation app free for everyone to utilize. Uh, why someone would utilize it, what are some of those local nuances I mentioned that we're capturing, right? So for the first time in Pakistan, we've actually gone and digitized and mapped out all of those private bus routes. So we've gone city by city, we're actually, you know, mapped out the, the, the routes and the timings of each of the routes, geocoded that. So those are going to be available on our app for the first time ever. That's not done, done, done before and not available anywhere in Pakistan. The second is we're also introducing what we call is, is fuel cost based routing. So looking at routing from a fuel cost perspective, not just from a distance perspective, because especially in, in, in currently available right now in the current scenario, that's a big point. And these are services, the fuel cost routing will then eventually be offered as an API as well to our corporate clients. And then the third is, is reference-based navigation. So we're actually incorporating in navigation references to specific uh, areas where I mentioned or, or, or sites like, you know, reference points where Teen Talwar or Dolman Mall, etc. From a B2B perspective, what our focus is on is essentially three things. Number one is uh, what we call location data. So we're licensing our data through APIs, which our clients directly consume. So we have around like 14 different, 14 APIs. We, when we started off, we had obviously much less. A lot of them have been developed based on interactions with the client and what we've seen in the market. Um, and there are three or four which are majority used. One is obviously what we call is directions or routing, provide routing so from point A to point B, taking into account traffic, time of day, we provide ETA. The other is uh, we provide something called map matching, which is actually matching GPS coordinates to the nearest travel route. This is very important for logistics and delivery companies to be able to see what routes their drivers took. The other is places details, which is essentially very similar to Google's APIs where you send a particular um, uh, business uh, and then provide all the details related to that address, URL, business hours. And then geocoding, which is our most used Lizip AI, which is essentially if you send a, an address, we send you a latitude and a longitude back. 
we are also developing what we call our own location intelligence platform so uh, we have not just uh, you know commercial business residential data we have road network data we have we've digitized over 850000 kilometers of road network by comparison the government has around 200000 kilometers of road network um we have uh carto data that we have we have population demographics we have income level data mobility footfall data so what we've done is we we've developed a, a analytics platform um to be able to provide these data points to our clients quite honestly you know we've seen traction and demand from across verticals be it financial services transportation government etc but i would say sort of the three main areas where we're seeing a lot of demand right now coming in is one is e-commerce and delivery services um and within this e-commerce you can i would put in sort of the retail landscape the cardis of the world or the 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 bonanzas of the world um uh so e-commerce and delivery and the other is transportation and logistics and third i would say is is sort of a public sector or, or government slash public sector sort of those three main verticals where historically we've seen a lot of demand and today we're seeing a lot of demand coming in as well when we started off i think there were a lot of, there was a lot of pessimism even from people around us close to us where they said okay uh, you know this is never going to happen and you like you mentioned you're competing against people which have deep 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 pockets and 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 we're a local company which is operating but i think i one i really feel that when you actually listen to your clients and be flexible in terms of helping them understand their problems helping them to solve it i think that goes a long way so the approach we took is not necessarily that hey we want to come in and make x amount of money but it's about helping them succeed so we actually provide services to optimize usage of our of our apis so over a period of time we generally work with the clients to reduce how many api calls they require to execute a transaction which has generally reduces revenue for us but you know decreases cost for them but what it does is it 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 has enabled us to upsell a lot of services to our clients as well and i think you know the personally for me i think the satisfaction you get is is you know when a big client switches from a, a large bohemian to us and is happy and is providing references as well and i think that is something which is really uh i think there's no comparison i think that's that's why we sort of the the we got into this business and like i mentioned setting something the challenge of setting something up from 0 to 1 is very different than going from 1 to 100 and and that is what was challenging for us and we we'll, and that's why we we'll, we look for people to join this on our journey who are interested in this in this challenge and in helping us overcome because obviously we will always be the underdog that is operating uh but uh you know uh i think by keeping the customer first by keeping their priorities first i think that has gone a long way in terms of us developing relationships and and being successful i think up until at the very beginning when we were operating obviously there was a lot of investment that is required in developing infrastructure in 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 hiring and 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 setting this and data collection so all of that was been supported by the tpl group um and tpl essentially obviously was one of the first consumers of our services as well within the group um so i i don't think that this journey would have been possible without really the 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 belief of tpl and our and our group ceo mr ali jamil who's really been one of the driving forces behind his belief behind this is has really been one of the reasons why we're here today